be much problem with that one. Same old stuff. But that drive he hit on 18 was absolutely superb with the driver. Nowhere to hit it. Hit it right where he had to. And that is just center cut right there. Jackson Hole Golf and Tennis Club. They're all watching. Peter Costley's getting a lot of applause there. That one's just bombed down that left side. Well, it's it's about four inches right of the divot he had in regulation, I believe. There you go. That's what you try to do in a playoff. Eight waggles and it goes. He's mumbling. Well, that is right in. Look out, look out, look out. Oh! Jeez, what wow. a shot. Oh, that ball just about went in. This again. You can hear the murmurs from the crowd start right now. He's mumbling. Be right. Listen to the murmurs. Three hole playoff aggregate. So, you know, sudden death. I can end it here. Let's see how Keegan answers that one. Yeah, this is a much less breeze than during regulation 159. How's that one, Peter? He's staring at it. Oh, same thing. Oh! Well, for two guys that are not used to this, one guy has never won. The other guy's a rookie who's won one golf tournament. Atta boy. Now, undaunted, just a nice little three-quarter swing there. And he's staring it down with the baby blows. Look at this shot. Closer and a much easier putt. That's the left. Two great shots into the 16th hole from these two competitors. One walks away with a birdie. The other has got a short putt for a par. He usually has a couple of extra yards up his sleeve with the way he can talk this golf swing. Yes, it was just a smooth eight in regulation. Looks the same this time. And blowing harder and harder up here. No, no! No, Shoved it a little. And that is a very difficult putt from there. Hole high, about 50 feet. A little different line. Steamy again. Saw it all day, Nick. The green is like lightning down that hill. Remember Todd Hamilton won back in 04. He won a tournament earlier in the season and then won the Open Championship. He's the only other rookie to ever achieve that feat. And he was just trying to lag that up and knock it five foot by. He made a good stroke. I'll give him that. Unfortunately for Jason Duffner, that's anything can happen there at 18. Oh, he sneaks it in the left side. Well, a great three there for Keegan Bradley. He'll make his way to the 18th tee now with a two-shot advantage over Jason Duffner. Solid effort right there. It's a brutal, look how narrow that area is. Exactly. There's just no room there. Oh, here's a man who has to be thinking three. He's got to keep his concentration going. A little demoralizing after. Look at this. Left center. And again, club of choice driver. Way down the road. Two shot advantage, Bradley. Wind was picking up there at the end and shifting kind of right into the golfer's face. Yeah, it's a beauty. Keegan Bradley. 
18 feet away. On the same line. And just outside of Keegan. It's a fine shot by Jason. But it's looking like it's Bradley's major championship. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Very much like the shot at 17. That made it about three or four yards, and that was four to five. I mean, if that's playing courageous golf, then... ...so long, but he needs to hold this. The read's the easy bit, now all of a sudden it's the touch and it's the emotions, the thoughts, thinking two parts because sometimes trying to lag when you've been trying to hold everything all day is a weird experience. I'll tell you, what finishes we have had yeah. at the PGA Championship. Incredible. You're kidding me. Oh, I I thought thought <laughs> again on the precipice of a whole new life a rookie no more a major champion <laughs> My privilege to give you the Monomaker Trophy, designating you as the 2011 PGA Champion. <laughs> Keegan, can you believe you have the Wanamaker Trophy in your hands? No, I, I can't believe it. I'm just. Uh so thankful for the PGA. My, my dad, Mark Bradley, is a PGA professional. I know this will be a special one for him for sure.